what the hell? What the? Oh, what's up, guys? Back on with another video today. I'm going ahead and tell you the most engaging story you guys will ever see. And yes, this was made in a year ago, in 2023, when I still think was the best year for my time. I think so. So, make sure to like and subscribe for more stories. Hey, my sister is in here. So, let's get started. And I like this new feature that I added. I can stretch my character. Look at this. I need to stretch my character. Bruce here for that. Let's get started. So this video was made at Ocean Mall. Please ignore my really bad writing. It was me, my father, my mother, and my sister. So it was like a full-on family. So we were just on an adventure going to Ocean Mall. I've already told you before. So I was in an area called Bounce Karachi, like this. B O U. And I didn't bother to write it. Karacha. Which is, which is where I live. And it's a bounce area. Bouncing area. You know those bouncing areas? And play area? That area. So, I pray that he may recognize this area. I haven't been with him, but he have. There were four sectors in the area. It was really, really fun, though. Like, the basketball area. No. Yeah. Okay, the first area was like you gotta step on like the little ringy things. Like there's a step on them. Not the ringy thing, the ringing ones over here, we gotta step on them. This looks a bit weird, guys, but I'm trying to make something, okay? And then the opposite way, you gotta step on your little blocks to get to the other side. And then my worst enemy, the monkey bars. Pretend these are monkey bars. I am a really bad drawer. Okay. So I. So, uh, I was in this sector. So I went on this climbing thing and I saw the children like do this. Bigger, like 13 years old, maybe 14, 15, I don't know. But they were on there. And me, the dummy, 9 years old or 10, I think. I'm 9. Wanted to go there. So, after he was done going, let me just remove him, guys, because he ain't in my video. Sorry, Billy, whatever your name is. I decided to go. It was usually the mom over here. Well, it wasn't my mom. She was recording Watch oh, me going on to there. This was even embarrassing now. There was some balls so, on the ground. Yeah, there was some ball pits on the ground over here. Pretend there's just balls in the ground. Like a ball pit area. And so, I went on to it, like a halfway step. I fell really down. So and basically, got to send this. And then some like people who were dirty. The ball pit was very deep than this that I made. This this design over here wasn't that wasn't this doesn't look that deep to you, but it was like four feet deep a bit I think, not that deep. It was deep, so I fell. And when my body hit that ground, I felt like screaming because I couldn't breathe. The worst part. So I was just standing there waiting, waiting for death to come. I was like onto this like, railing over here, so I just like tried getting up on this thing. Like waiting for death to come, just come away. But then I dropped again, and for some reason, I could breathe again. Yeah, it felt like like God saved me. Felt like, and then I would just say, fat face, fat 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 face on the ground, flat face on the ground. I can't say that really well. What face? And then my sister came up. She was like in a 360 mode. Came up and 
but Star at home bowled shit on me. She was like, she was like, what are you doing? Tink tong tong tong. I was bowled all over me. And I was like, stop doing it. I'm gonna die, you idiot. And then one of the work came, one of the work workers out there decided he's one of the workers. I'm gonna indicate it blue. That's Jimmy. And workers told me to get up. They is somebody there killing you going to die. Get up. So get up. So then pick me up. And we went to the chairs over there. There were chairs like sofa over there. Yeah, thing, yeah. Yeah. So then, after I sat there, I felt for some reason. Pretend this is my in body, my rib cage. It felt like one of my rib cages dislocated. <laughs> And it felt like my whole rib cage displayed like, like whenever I tried to jump, this felt like dislocated. So then I told my mom, uh, no, wait, wait, that's not hard. So then the horn rang, nang, nang, and that means I gotta get up because time is over now. So then, we don't need the stairs to down there. I got sick pretty much. I went down there. There's always somebody there. I told my one mother what happened and she was shocked what happened. But this is not the reason to the story. The reason I fell down, couldn't breathe, and I bre and I fall down once again and I and I could breathe again. So moral of the story Angels are real. I wrote angles again. Angels. Angels are real. God is real. Yeah. So I, I thought one of these would save me. But suddenly when it was my disc lodge, like something was like my throat and it was like only lost in there, but the thing has saved me. So the moral of the story is is to be safe, kids guy. Don't do stupid things like I did. I almost died from doing that. Same. And bye bye guys. I hope the story was a little interesting, a little short story for you guys. As if I'm not gonna make any videos, I thought. But yeah. Here's the bye guys, and I have a lot of plans for you on YouTube. And bye. You want you want you want that friend? I copy by Creeper King. Bye. Mm -hmm.